this is a video to demonstrate predictive actions extension. First, let's go ahead and create a new ticket. And you can immediately see some of the predictions that the extension is making. First, we have our title field. And based on the historical data, it's suggesting that the most common options here would be forgot password, PBX issue, new user, or locked out. So the system knows based on what you put in previously and tries to give you the best possible option. So in this case, let's say it's a new user. Um, as far as the pick list fields go, it knows, again, based on historical data. And in most cases, you would set the status as open, and that's what the system is suggesting. So all you have to do is just click the bubble, and then it gets set as a field value. And then we also have a few other ones that we configured. So we can select by just hovering and clicking on each button. So once I save the record, I can then see that the same applies to the summary view. We can change the priority on the fly. We can also go from closed or from open to closed with just a single click, or you can select any other option that's more relevant to your business. So say if we're going from open to in progress, and if I were to refresh, then the next prediction will be based on the in progress value, which is wait for response. And that's how you would save a few clicks by editing the record. Next, let's take a look at the projects module. We have a few date fields that we'd like to share. So if we open up our existing project and go into details, we can see that the progress field is a pick list and again allows us to quickly and easily to update the values based on the next best possible option. We'll go ahead and hit 30. And as far as the dates go, you can see that it tries to predict the difference between the date. And within a single click, you can change 25th to 26th as well as their other options based on the historical data. Simply click and the fields get automatically updated with very little effort. If I were to refresh this, we'll then see other suggestions based on historical data again. Now, to configure this, you would go into CRM settings under other settings, predictive fields, and here you can configure your own modules, as well as fields that you would like the system to predict. For example, let's take a look at projects. You can see we have our module. We want to analyze only the last 365 days. And you have your options. You can only select to show the prediction if you're creating a new record, or if the field is blank, or if you decide you no longer need to see, you can set a, a date, say, if the record is older than 30 days, I don't want to see any more predictions because we are assuming that the record has been closed. And in the same configuration here, you can see the predictions before they are shown to the user. We can easily reanalyze the database or select to add additional fields that will become a predictive fields.